200 years ago, this Napoleonic fort was built in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean to protect France from invasion. Now it is home to a new kind of battle. Six teams of modern day warriors are facing one another in a tournament that tests wit, strength, and courage. But who will emerge victorious? Will it be one of the teams on today's Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge? Are you ready for this? Hello everyone and welcome to Fort Boyard. Today, two teams will face a set of challenges that will test their skill and courage. The teams don't know what's in store, but they do know they're going to be pushed to their absolute limits. So, let's meet today's teams. I think my main strength would have to be that I don't give up and I give 100%. I could take on anything that Fort Boyard throws at me. I think we can win, so watch out, guys. We're going all the way, Silver Dragons. I'm a massive game player and a team player, and I like to lead my team as well. If I put my mind to it, I can take on anything. When the going gets tough, I get going. I think the Green Jaguars can go all the way and win the final. It's the Green Jaguars versus the Silver Dragons in today's Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge. Welcome, young warriors. Well, Charles, your team captain of the Silver Dragons. So why are you a good team captain? Uh, I give good direction, I accept criticism, and I was a natural born leader. Ooh, all right, okay. All right. Jordan, you get your team ready? Yeah, I've got a lot of motivation. We've got a fantastic team. We've got a lot of skill in every single area. We're going all to right. Win. Are you ready for battle? <laughs> yeah! Oh, all right. Each show has five challenges where the aim is to win keys. Teams need three keys in order to get the maximum time in the treasure chamber. There, they need to collect as many coins as they can to get through to the tournament final. Let battle commence. Okay, everybody, we're starting today's competition with a frightening challenge. Charles and Jordan are about to climb out onto the fortress wall. Once there, they'll make their way along the narrowest of platforms 40 feet above the sea in an effort to grab their team cartridge containing the code that their team needs to open the key box. Okay, Charles and Jordan, this is today's first competition and your first chance to win a key. Please, whatever you do, hang on and don't look down. Dragon Charles and Jaguar Jordan are about to climb out onto the fortress wall to battle for the first key in one epic challenge. Okay, guys, on my mark, your challenge starts now. It's captain versus captain in this first challenge, and both are off to a flying start. They are over 40 feet high above the Atlantic Ocean. This is one scary challenge. Those ledges are tiny. They have to be so careful with their footwork, otherwise it's game over. Jordan is inching ahead, but it's so close. Looks like it's Charles that's opened his box first. And Jordan has got his open. But Charles is flying ahead. Dragon Charles has a strong lead now. Jaguar Jordan will have to speed up if he wants to win today's first key. Guys, get ready. Get ready. They're going to be coming out real soon, okay? Look at Jordan. He's caught up quickly. Boy, this is tight. Charles is through the window. Really close. Just nipped in. And Jordan is just behind. Man, who is it going to be? Who's going to win this? Here's Charles. He's got to unlock that cylinder to get the code. And here's Jordan. It all comes down to who can get the code out first. Hey, let's have a look at the replay. I rock climb in my own time, and like I was really excited for this event. I thought, you know, I'd knock it out, but it was actually a lot more challenging than I thought. It was really scary at first. 
and quite difficult because the ledges were really small. At one point, I was holding in with you know one finger. I had one finger in there, and it was really close. I think we only lost by about three or four seconds. You know, as soon as I ran in, I sprinted and made sure I got that cap off, and <laughs> made sure everybody got the numbers right away. Well, after that, let's have a look at the scoreboard. That was a fantastic opening challenge, which sees the Silver Dragons take the first key in today's competition. Another challenge now. Are you ready? Yeah! Come on! Let's do this. This one is just for you, so follow me! Come on over! So, here we are at the next challenge. How are you feeling? Good. Good. Well, this challenge is for just one of the team, and behind this door, there's a loom. The key is at the far end in a set of scales. You've got to move the corn using the buckets into the scales, get enough in there for the key to be released. You're up against the clock. So, Charles is team captain. Which member of the team's doing this challenge? I think Laura's got this one in the bag. Laura? Right, okay, I'm going to ask you to take your place at the door. Yep. Are you ready? Yep. Your time starts now. Go, Laura. Go on. Come on, Laura. Now, Laura has to fill those buckets with as much corn as she can and carry them across the loom. Well, Laura. There you go. She then needs to fill the scales with the corn to release the key. Really well, she can. You've got plenty of time. Well done, right, fantastic. fantastic. Well done. Good technique. Just careful. So come careful on. not to drop the corn. Place your feet right in between the, the yeah. biggest gaps. Ah. Like that next gap. Some good team advice here. <laughs> Take big long steps. Right, Nara made pretty quick work of that loom. Great technique. She doesn't want to drop any of that corn. Looking good. Come on, Nara. Oh, sure, really well. right, back. 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 Straight back, straight back. There's just one minute left. Now she must race back and get some more corn as quickly as she can. Gotta get a lot of corn in the bucket. The more corn she can get, the fewer trips she'll have to make across the loom. All right, hurry. And we've got another clip. Put it up, put it up, put it up. Next one, next one, next one. 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 Next one, Come on, you can do this. And don't forget, guys, she needs to get that key and get out of there before the time runs out. Come on, get Laura, quick, 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 quick. No key. Fantastic, well done. Keep those legs moving. Come on, Laura, quick. Empty them. Careful, careful. careful. All right, I'm on, I'm on. Fast, fast. She's running out of time. Oh, Laura, quick, come on. I don't think she's got enough time to make another trip. Quickly. Right, Laura, just come out. Just drop it. Nice try. I thought that it would be really easy, but it was actually a lot harder than I thought. I tried to scoop corn into the bucket, but it just kept on falling out. So I had really little corn in the buckets. You were so close, so good effort. After that, let's have a little look at the scores. So after that second challenge, it's still one key to none for the Silver Dragons. Yeah! It's time for another challenge now, so off we go. The sport's next challenge is a race against time and space. Imogen and Sash are about to walk into a room. The task is to find keys, white for dragons and black for jaguars, in a maze above their heads. Leave the keys through the maze and open the box on the floor to retrieve the treasure key, all while the room is getting smaller. Oh, and a not-so-little surprise awaits them. Okay, guys, are you ready for this challenge? Yeah. Sash and Imogen are about to battle it out in an ever-shrinking room as they race for that all-important key. Your challenge starts now. Now Sash is looking for the black keys and Imogen the white. They both have four each to get, but only two of those will unlock their side of the key box. Right now. Go for the tag ones, Amy. Try in both locks. Yeah. It fits, so he's got to find just one more. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. Get that one up. Try and go up. The go. ceiling is really closing in on them now. Imogen's got a key, but it's not the right one. And now Sash has another. Coming down, coming down. But it doesn't fit either. Come on, come on. They can hardly stand at this point. Imogen's got her first key, but the ceiling is so low they're running out of time. But 
but Sash has a key. He's got two keys. He's got and Imogen tries another. This is close. Oh, oh, one. It's the last one. Ooh. Oh. They're both searching for just one more key, but it could be too late. The room is almost at its smallest of just two feet. If the warning light flashes, they must get out. The warning's about to come on. There, there's the warning light. Quick. How did it feel? It was really hard, but no, neither of us got a key. It was actually quite challenging, actually, because it was harder than it looks to actually get the keys off the hook. But we did work our best, and we got pretty close. After that dramatic challenge, no key is won, so the Dragons still lead the Jaguars by one key to zero. OK, Jaguars, the next challenge is for you only. So off you go. <laughs> So, Green Jaguars, here we are at your next challenge. Now, Jordan, as team captain, uh, you've chosen Joseph to uh -huh. take on this challenge. Uh, he's going to have to move the metal chair along this beam, which is 60 feet above the fort floor. Once he gets to the end, he's got to stand and balance himself on this chair and take a massive leap over to the trapeze, pull the rope to reveal the code. He is up against the clock as well. So, Joseph. Your challenge starts now. Come on, come on. Joseph is one brave guy doing this. This really is one of the fort's scariest challenges. Whatever the fort can offer, I will not be afraid of it. I am not afraid to take anything on in that fort. He's 60 feet high up there. Slowly and steadily pushing the chair. He's concentrating so hard as he knows one wrong step could end in disaster. Really well. You're doing really well for time. At first, it went you know, pretty fast, very well, except the, the chair was a little rusty and kind of difficult moving it along. He's not just battling with that chair, he's battling with the elements too. It's really windy so high up. Now he must step up onto that chair. This takes real nerve. Is it lined up? Yep. It's so important he's got to line the chair. Here we go. Yep. Remember, this is for your first yeah, you key. Yeah, you he's taking his time as that chair is really unstable, just as the name suggests. Now's the moment. Good job. Can he make the leap of a lifetime? Got it, got it. Get your balance. Yeah. What an effort! Pull that rope! Now he's got to shout out that code. 5421. Hurry, guys, time's ticking. Quick, guys, quick, guys. Only 20 seconds left. Come on, come on, come on! Get down! Get down! That was amazing, and it was just in time. Let's have a look at some of that action back. The wind started blowing while I was up there, so I'm like, oh no, you know, this is just like the slightest gust of wind could blow me off. My whole team, you know, they kind of, they really, they're really supporting me, and I was like, I can do this, I can do this, you know. Well done, guys, so you've got one key now. Let's have a look at the scoreboard. After that brilliant effort by Joseph, it means the scores are now level with one key each for both the Dragons and the Jaguars. The whole feeling was pretty confident. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we've got another challenge now, so you ready? Yeah. yeah. Come on, let's, let's do this. Okay, guys, we're almost at today's final destination. But before we get there, you have one last chance to win a key. The task is very simple. Here we have a glass floating in water in an aquarium. Here we have coins of varying weights. Each team member is going to drop one coin into the glass. The team that makes the glass sink will lose the vital last key in today's competition. Jaguars, do you understand? Yes. Dragons, do you understand? Yes. Line them up. So which team will keep their heads above water? But more importantly, who will take away the most points from today's legendary treasure chamber? As we head towards the treasure chamber, there's one last key to be won, and both teams really want to win it. Your challenge starts 
now. Charles is up first for the dragons. That's a confident start. Jordan is next. Don't touch the table. Strong move. Sash steps up. No problem. Seemed kind of easy. We're just putting coins in a cup. But as more people put coins in a cup, it seemed like it was more and more difficult to see where you placed it and what coin you got. Laura's up. There's a key riding on this. Remember, Imogen, this is not a race. It's not a race. Very good. It's James' turn. Gently, gently. Light. Joseph can't believe it. Nice. That glass is almost sunk. Pressure's on you, Jaguar. Light. The glass didn't sink. The Jaguars really lucked out. How is it still floating? Pressure's on, Captain. It's all about this coin. Let's take a look at that again. Sadly, the dragons were sunk with that last coin. Jaguars win the last and vital key. The aquarium was really bad, and, you know, that last, it was right at the brim, the water's right at the brim, so when I put that last coin in, it sank down. I felt kind of guilty for that. So as we head to the treasure chamber, it's the green jaguars that take a two key to one advantage over the silver dragons. We're going to the treasure chamber, let's go! Okay guys, you've made it to the ultimate challenge. Now keep in mind, this is a race. A race to grab coins in the treasure chamber. Not only to grab coins, but to add points to your leaderboard score. Now each team needs three keys to give you the maximum amount of time of three minutes in the treasure chamber. If you don't have those three keys, then you'll pay a penalty in time. So, how many keys do you have, Dragons? One key. One key. Take that from you, thank you. And how many keys do two you keys. have? Two keys. So we'll take those. With two keys, you're going to get a total of two minutes 40 in the treasure chamber. That's a 20 second time penalty. And Dragons, you're going to have the same, a 20 second time penalty. But because you only had one key, one member of your team has a further penalty of 20 seconds. Right, well here are the all important maps. You're going to need those. Okay guys, are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, on my mark, your challenge starts now. Go! Come on, guys, come on. When the gates open, our warriors look for their team crest, then use the maps to place the team crest on the right squares on the chamber floor. They go to the tiger's head, and if they've got it right, the key to their treasure chest will drop, and they can start collecting coins. As Laura enters the chamber for the dragons, it's looking pretty close as both teams have nearly finished their maps. Orchestrating everything. Yeah. That's, that's, that's really smart. Despite the dragon's penalty, both teams are at the tiger's head at the same time. You there, Elgin? Looks like the Jaguar's map is wrong. But the dragons have their key. They got a mistake here. Jaguars have fixed their map and now have their key. It's the dragons that get their gold first. Don't use your hands to collect the treasure. Charles is off with his first load of coins. There you go, there you go. And now the Jaguars have their coins. Oh. It's all about the number of trips. Don't waste your time the collecting. The dragons are well away here. Jaguars. There you go. Don't, don't point, worry yeah. about collecting as many as you can. It's all about grabbing and going, keeping it flowing. Jordan is really racing there. There you go. Just grab a handful. Come grab on, two Jackson. handfuls and come. Those coins are turning into points on your leaderboard now, come on. The more coins they get, the more points they'll have on the leaderboard and the better chance they'll have to get to the final. Make your way out, guys, come on, the gate's closed. Come on, guys, come on, guys. Come on, come on. They must get out before the gate closes. It's gonna be tight. Nice. Fantastic. Let's take a look at some of those key moments. We found all the things and then put one of them in the wrong place. So we were like, it's not working, it's not working. Uh, we did like a really good effort, so I was collecting all the coins and these guys would be the runners. But we did really well yeah. collecting it because we were a few seconds behind. Obviously, they got their treasure. Okay, guys, that was a great competition. It is time to 
tally the take. So let's start with you guys, dragons. Let's see what you got. Pull that treasure in, come on. <laughs> It's gonna be close, you know. I think it is. I think it's gonna be very close. One thousand and eighty. That's good a pretty job, good guys. Haul. It's a pretty good haul. Let's get that out of there. Make sure you didn't leave any. <laughs> okay, Jaguars. Let's see what you took. Remember, the score to beat is 1,080. Let's see what that total is. how that affects the overall tournament leaderboard. With that great haul, the Dragons go into third place on our leaderboard and the Jaguars into fourth, both hot on the heels of the Vipers who lead the tournament. Well <laughs> and until next time, it's goodbye from the mighty Fort Boyard. We'll see you then. Bye. Join us next time when the Vipers take on the Sharks here on Fort Boyard Ultimate Challenge. When we were waiting for, you know, the count to come in, I was like, uh-oh. I actually felt more, more nervous then than I did at the top of that beam. We were convinced they had more, but um, in the way up we had 40 more, so we were really, really happy with that. 1040 isn't that bad. I think we did really well. Yeah. We had one person down and we ended up winning anyway, so, I mean, our team worked really well. Yeah.